What's up, guys? We are back with another weekly talk episode featuring me, Amari. <coughs> Fuck, Amari. <laughs> so, how was your week, pal? My week was actually better than last week's podcast. Okay. I was, um, you know, got some stuff done. You, 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 you already know. I, you know, was that? You can go into detail. <laughs> oh, also, we're gonna do this new thing. I think it's better just for now because we don't have. I mean, I guess it's. I really shouldn't. Ex- it doesn't matter if I give an explanation, but we don't have like three different camera angles to like visualize. And some people, some people like are probably like fifty fifty with it. Some people would rather listen to it than uh, watch it. So we're gonna put it on a kind of different kind of platforms. You guys can listen to it instead of, you know. Yeah, it's, it's still gonna be on YouTube. But it's just gonna be the audio. I just want to see right. how it's gonna go until we find a way to get like different camera angles and all that. Because we, for the longest time, since we have this mic, we couldn't figure out how to incorporate it with the video so we're just going off the phone mm-hmm. but we're just going to do the audio so that way you have crisp audio and you guys can just listen to it maybe on your when you're working or whatever but yep. so we yeah we will definitely figure out the issue with yeah. whatever was going on um but, but until but, then go fuck yourself <laughs> i'm just kidding god right. you're a dickhead but um uh in all seriousness about my week um to be honest i didn't really pay much attention to it i definitely was productive yeah i would obviously work um I started, you know, getting back into the music again. Uh, I need to get back into the filming as well. Yeah. I'm, I've, I've been wanting to just do everything, and it's also been overwhelming as well. So it's, it's kind of a weird thing because, like, my mentality is, like, my, my mentality has uh, evolved over the past couple months, actually. And um, it's just it's just weird. Like, I have so many things I want to do, and I, like, I, I do them sometimes. And I and I have a consistent schedule with it, then I kind of fall off, and I'm like, oh man, I really want to get back to it, um, and it just, it just takes some time for me to like build up that that self discipline because I I believe it's not motivation. Motivation is I feel a strong passion and desire to do something, um, but discipline is what actually makes you want to, you know get up and do, do things well, like it, it, it's what um forces yourself to get up and do things so 100%. uh what about your week um pal honestly <laughs> well, we've just been working for real. we've both been working a lot honestly um we work at a fast food restaurant as you may know as a little fast food joint called little caesar's fucking caesar palace caesar palace we work over there um yeah we i've just been working on so i played basketball the other day i told you about that i hooped for like an hour and it felt really mm-hmm. good basketball to me like yeah, I love basketball. Like I could, I could, like as long, I played in high school, and I could go out right now. And, like sometimes I think I maybe watch, but for whatever reason, like I can just go out and hit shots. Like it doesn't matter. Can I eat a chip real quick? I guess. But back to my week. Um, nothing too serious. It's kind of been laid back. Some things are going on out of the picture outside of work, but you know I'm gonna figure that out myself, and I'll work on that. But nothing with me, other like. I'm not going to go into details because it's not whatever. But anyway, but honestly, it's just been working for real. Um, but other than that, it hasn't been a bad week. Def- definitely not. This, it was definitely it was produ- better I'm than not, the one before, yeah. 100%. And I'm sure we both felt it because the energy just in the environments that we have placed ourselves in 100%. are the – you know the the frequency is much higher. The the, the vibrations are much higher. Definitely. You know, the energy is more positive, and it was just more enjoyable because, like, obviously, it's work. We're working yeah. jobs. Like, yeah, you know, you know, we don't. We shouldn't even be in positions like that. Right. But, um, you know, it was just killing my mindset. It was killing my energy, and I was allowing that to happen as well. So then I I took a step back and I really looked at things. I'm like, I'm freaking out. I'm losing right. it. I need to get back to where I was trying to be, and I started getting back on that route again, and it's yeah. just it's just been great. And I, I'm sure you've been doing that as well. I have, like we've been just getting on each other about. Oh things. yeah, hundred percent. I will say, I I mean, going off of you saying, you know, I am bad about uh, fast food, you know, because like it is kind of a. It's not. I guess. I mean, it is a dick thing. Like, I mean, if you eat it. Oh, you know, it's definitely and a it's, dick thing. And it's like in the heart. The part. So basically, what me and Amari have been trying to do is like, we've kind of. Well, how do I want to word this? Like, we've kind of like we've been cutting became out. a pack and like decided we were yeah. going to cut out on certain things. And yes, I've 
you know, I've had my times where I've ate it, and that's yes. that's something I'm gonna have to learn self discipline. So like, mm-hmm. still trying to get used to that, like, because I am. I mean, I've ate fast food for a while. This, yeah, this is this is a very good conversation to get into because people um, who are trying to maybe uh, take part in this journey themselves um, are going to you know be able to relate to this in a good way. So I feel like this is a very good uh, topic to talk about. So. Um, Larry or Zach I recently just got quote sick. He he, he threw right, up yeah, earlier. Yeah, that was day, earlier yeah. today. That was today. I had a bad and day. that was most likely from McDonald's. that McDonald's. No offense to McDonald's. But no God. offense to McDonald's. They know what they're doing. Yeah. They're not. The, the, the food is just not real. It's yeah. not good. It's not healthy. It's not something that you should be putting in your bodies. I, it's not good. I think the main problem with me is too like, I for the longest time like at work I opened a lot. So, like, I got on a really good sleep schedule. So, I mean, I could be going to bed at, like, 12, 31 o'clock every night because I opened every day. And then I kind of got out of the habit of doing that, and I started staying up later. So, I think it kind of fucks with my sleep schedule, too. Well, not that, not food, but I fuck with my own sleep schedule. And, like, if I stay up late, I don't get enough sleep mm-hmm. and a bad headache. And then, you know, I have to eat. So, like, I don't know. I just think that kind of equals to my pro- some of my problems is the fast food and the bad sleep schedule. Have you ever gotten a headache from... Or no, have you ever thrown up from having like a really yeah, intense I used headache? To, yeah, I used to get bad. Oh, really? I used to get sick. A okay, lot. okay. So back on the the topic that we were talking about, or like um, going back on the, the topic, food, yeah. um, the food. So yeah, uh, Larry or Zach, um, yeah, he threw up, and so and I, and I was talking to him about. It. I was like, yeah, bro, we gotta like cut this yeah, shit out. Um, we're still trying to figure this out because obviously, the, you know, the situation that we have, yeah. we don't have money like that. Right. Obviously, I mean, like we're gonna keep it real. Right, right. We're gonna keep yeah, it no, real. 100%. So, um, our plan is to, um, my, my my mindset right now is I just got to put on weight. Yeah. I gotta eat, and I gotta eat what's around. I got I gotta I I gotta eat what I can. You know, I don't know. I can't yeah. always be around that stuff. But if right. I have the opportunity to eat something healthy, healthy. I am taking that on. And, I, and you've seen that. That yeah. that's just me. I crave it so much. And um, I, I recently cut out um, soda, all every Soda's kind of soda. It's right. it's terrible. I cut out Gatorade because um, I did a tad bit of research and also uh, kind of learned this as well. It's around as you know. It's about you as bad as pop. pop. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, you say pop or soda? Pop top. So it's ba- yeah, basically so pop uh, soda. I say pop. Some people are like soda, but okay, whatever. It's, yeah, it just depends yeah, on where right. you're at. Yeah, right. Um, soda pop. Some people even call it coke. I've heard soda yeah. pop. Soda pop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry but, um, so, um, and I actually did this on purpose. I didn't fail, um, on accident or whatever because I was my discipline was very good. I've just been, I've been, um. Uh, doing retention from everything I've been holding everything off I've been uh, pushing a lot of things that I know for a fact don't need to be in my life away but I was like you know what I was asking some people around I was like what do you think about me uh, trying candy again and some you know everybody that I talked to was shout basically to saying <laughs> yeah shout, shout out to the co-workers because they actually um, they actually have very open mindsets which is people i need to be around because they see life in multiple perspectives as do i as i try to do so i think it's very important to have those kind of people around so and i was talking to him and he said that um uh it's it it all depends on how you see it if you want to have candy then just go for it and i was like you know what um let me let me do this let me see this as like a test myself type of situation so I got a bag of candy. It was like those evil twins. You uh, got the, a bunch of stuff, didn't you? No, no I, 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 I got candy. other snacks. Couple I only got one bag of candy because okay, okay. I know I, I knew I didn't need a lot. So I started eating. I was like, this is not even that good anymore. It's not as good as I uh, imagined it being while I was on this break. And uh, time went on. I ended up finishing the bag. But like, actually, when I was halfway done with that, I looked in the bag. I was like, there's a lot left. Right. I looked in the bag. There was a lot left. And I, I it just didn't taste the same. It didn't taste the same. It didn't taste the same. It didn't taste as sweet as I um, thought it would still be. I was like, fruit tastes so much sweeter, so much better, and I feel more alive. 
and good eating and more energy and everything. And I'd say about 30 minute, 30, 20 to 30 minutes after I finished the bag, I just did not feel good. I had like like a headache. Yeah. Uh, my stomach was kind of hurting. My energy was low. I was like, yeah, this is over. Right. It's done. Uh, once again, like fruit tastes better. The healthier things make me feel better, taste better, everything. And it's all, you know, natural sugars, things like that. And I was like, yeah, I need to stop doing this. Um <laughs> With you, because like you're not much of a no, candy I, I'm guy. No, I'll eat certain candy, but I'm like even growing up, like I don't like cake. I mean, I'll eat chocolate cake, but I'm I don't like. Just like you're not just I'm much not, of a, a sweet uh, guy. I'm the basic. I hate like I don't like candy. Everybody freaks out like, oh, you don't like candy? Like I hate. You're, candy. you're, you're a salty kind of guy. Not, yeah. So that already kind of sets you up for success. In right. A way. Yeah. But once again, like that's like the salty thing is like, the salt well, stuff. The, 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 the salty foods is the problem. Is, is the problem? Is the problem. Yes. So like, what's your what's your situation with that? Is it would you would you is that kind of like your sugar addiction uh, situation? Kind of, yeah. I mean, it, the problem of it is, is like, back to my whole like sleep schedule thing and stuff. Like, you know, say I stay up. Usually, if I'm not tired, I'll stay up to like two thirty, three o'clock at night. So that's the main problem. And then I won't get up. Like, say we don't have to be at work till three, even f- sometimes four. I won't get up till like two two thirty. So mm-hmm. that only gives me like an hour to like shower, get ready, and then I don't have any time to eat. So by the time I'm out the door, motherfucker, it's like 3.30 and I got to yeah. go, mm-hmm. you know, and that's yeah. the problem. I don't have time to like sit down and actually, you know, or even get up early and enjoy like breakfast. I don't do that and I need to. That's a big problem for me. Definitely. The sleep schedule thing is very important too. One thing about me is. Um, I love sleeping in, bro. That's like the yeah, problem. That's, but, that, but yeah, but like we, we talked about that as well. Like that's also a right, problem. Yeah, no, I know. Because, you know, one thing like um, I think that's that actually like. Uh, kills your energy in a way yeah, as well, yeah, sleeping, and it uh, probably that's probably what's also giving you your headache. You're supposed to get what? Isn't it like eight hours? Like a full night of sleep? It, it depends on the age. I'd say like our age range, seven. six to eight hours. That's, what I that's, I that's that's usually if I get like seven, I'm cool. Like seven to eight, I'm fine. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I get more, like depending if I sleep in. Like so, nine. how do you, how do you feel when you get about ten? Because that seems like that's I what feel, you typically. I mean, you feel good. <sighs> I don't know if I get like ten hours of sleep. I'm good for like when I wake up for like majority of the day, and then I'll probably be tired later on. Cause probably I feel like a little yeah, I'm sluggish. Okay, sluggish. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah my, my sleep situation is a little weird. So I, I've been like, I've been doing what I used to do uh, as of like lately, and I've been kind of getting out of it. I've been waking up after about like a eight to nine hours of sleep sometimes i sleep and i'm like i don't like doing yeah. that anymore but i'm but my body just doesn't want to get do up it. yeah and i don't feel like getting up and i'm just kind of sitting there for like an extra hour hour and a half and i'm wasting my day away i could be outside enjoying the, the sun same, yeah. that's you know that's what it's there for it's there for me yeah. and i just i'm not a fan of it because i'm a i'm the kind of guy that likes to get up early and enjoy all of the day right. oh yeah all of the day, I'm. You're a lot I, more productive. You get up early. And get oh yeah, of course. I, I, f- I feel so much better too, and I have so much time. Like I don't realize how much time. I, I did like, um, some math or whatever to see how much time I would have. This was before I changed my schedule. I had a whole nine hours before work to do whatever I wanted to right. do. Oh, now, yeah, because you went in at five. Yeah, time. Yeah, but now um, okay. I go in a little bit early, right. but I still got. Yeah, you still got. Play, I still right? got like seven, six, seven hours. Yeah. That, that's that's a lot. I could do the amount. I can do the same amount of stuff I was doing. Obviously, time is cut short a yeah, little bit, yeah. but that that gives me more time for me and for everything else I want to accomplish in that day. So right. I feel it's very important for me to uh, get to bed a little bit earlier. I can enjoy the night a little bit. But the day is most important for me. That's, you know, I get my nutrients from the sun. You know, just um, I feel my energy is much more uh, higher, is, is much higher, right. you know, much more positive. And I'm sure you could agree with oh, that yeah. as well. Oh, yeah, Like, it's, yeah, we need to start doing that again. What? Yeah, yeah. No, we just need to start, like, building up these better sleep schedules. Oh, definitely, yeah. I'm, you know, I habits. Support, yeah, 100%. 100%. Um, and I feel that also plays into like a like like self-respect no definitely because i think that was gonna what we were gonna talk about next that's definitely going yeah that. <laughs> <laughs> sorry guy he looked at me um yeah looked so at, looked into his soul <laughs> <laughs> why you lie <laughs> so the next thing i want to talk about is kind of i got that you know self-worth and like self-improvement so i think 
One thing I want to focus on is putting a lot. <laughs> what the fuck is so funny? Do you want me to fucking RKO you right now? Whoa, 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 whoa. I will fucking Ric Flair chop your shit if you don't shut so the fuck up. I, th- I think it's best to be transparent with the audience. So we we, we work on, um, well, obviously we're working on the podcast. We're working on ways to make it better. Yeah. And we were talking about uh, transitions. <laughs> and um, I felt that was like one of the smoothest things I've done. <laughs> and I just kind of looked at Larry. Yeah, you looked at me and I was like. And I looked and I lied. And you lied to my <laughs> face. But, um, but no, one thing I did want to talk about was like self. Like just focusing on yourself. Because one thing about me is this yes. is a big problem. I will put like I will put anybody that I care about or love about. I mean and it's not a bad thing. Like family and friends is fine, but like other things like I'll put person people that I love and care about before myself. Mm-hmm. And that's a big problem. Like yeah, yeah. you're like you're allowed to care and love and that's fine, but like you also got to focus on yourself. And I think that's one thing I got to learn and adjust to and fix is cuz I don't put a lot of time and energy into myself. I yes. put it around that people that I care about, you know, I, may, I need to change that. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm definitely with you on that. I feel it has its pros and cons. Pros, obviously, you're, you're building up that, that, that care and love for right. other people, and I feel that's really important because it shows that people aren't alone and they have somebody to talk to, and you know, they have somebody that they're able to connect with. And they're like, hey, I can rely on this person for anything. I can ask them anything and not feel ashamed. Definitely. But I feel, you know, obviously it has its cons because if people kind of can, take can see, though, yeah, yeah, it's da- it's very dangerous. Yes, people can take advantage of you. People can use you for anything. Yep. And it's 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 not. It's good. a hard game to play. Yeah, that's and why that's why I feel like being self aware and realizing your worth in this world is very important because then you can. Uh, really see like who's there for you and who's not who's yeah. gonna take advantage of you and who won't and you know who really loves you and who doesn't right i feel that's that's something that everybody needs to t- uh, pay attention to Definitely. and i feel by by really paying attention to yourself uh to you know the self-improvement you can grow and um eventually evolve as a person because i was i was actually uh, thinking about this i was like for me um, growth is obviously a thing, but I feel like um, evolution, you know, when someone evolves, it's almost, I, I compared it to like Call of Duty yeah. and Prestige. Yeah. So you level up right. in Call of Duty, so you, 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 you grow. You, right. you grow. As a person. And then when you prestige, you enter a completely different zone. Right. Yeah. So I feel like I, like I see it as um, when I evolve, I'm exploring completely fresh new ideas beliefs worlds and i'm like wow now yeah. i gotta learn about these right. so i'm learning about what was minded. yeah set in front of me but now when i evolve i'm exploring things that that, that that's that i'm seeing for myself right. that i'm exploring for myself so yeah i just feel like you know realizing that you are very important and you are very special unique in your own way and there's not another one of you right. in this world is extremely important and taking care of yourself paying attention to yourself every single day you know being in tune with your emotions your body that goes yes, back to and, the body. and your body that yep. goes back to the body that you know the health um just because all of this is interwoven all of this uh connects with each other and you know if you miss out on one thing um you miss out on other aspects yeah. of right. you know your, your yourself and your yeah. life so um yeah how do you feel about all that you know? i i agree 100 percent. i think that one of the big problems is like life is really short so like if you put so much energy and time into one thing you could yes. be missing out on a whole another aspect of life that you don't know about because yeah, exactly. you're you're putting so much energy and time into like one thing and you know maybe god has something else planned for you but you don't know that yet because you're you're putting so much energy and time into a certain thing you know and i just think that you know that you know i mean it's not wrong but like like you said it it could be a good and a bad thing you definitely know? don't fucking laugh at me i'm not you laughing need to at take you. me serious <laughs> bro i'm just smiling at you dude i like you dude yeah i know you do <laughs> whoa <laughs> oh, dude. dude you need to stop you need to fucking stop that's why i just fucking hit you <laughs> dude, that's not nice um 
Yeah, we thought this thing stopped. Yeah, we saw. Nah, we thought our audio was cut short, we're buddy. Straight, we're, we're straight. Sh- we're straight. We're short guy. We're straight guy. But since you cut me off, back to our conversation. Yeah. Um. No, I. I just like. I agree with everything you said, and you're right. I mean, there's different aspects and growth you need to do as a person, and you just need to. You need to do it. Do it. Yeah. I yeah. Mean, fuck them. One, one thing about me is like, the, the uh, going back to the self discipline, um. I think I, I think I don't know if I talked about this in the first podcast, but one thing, um, I actually have two things to say. So one thing, um, uh, one thing I thought is, you know, when you're going through this, you know, lack of self discipline phase. I gotta burp again. Oh God, you dirty Good God. Good right. God. <laughs> <laughs> but one one thing is, um. Shout out to everybody. I, t- I tell my so, so, shout out Little Caesars. <laughs> shout out my squad. Shout out to squad, bro. But it, yeah, um, in all seriousness, one thing um, I tell myself to do is get up. I literally tell myself to physically stand up because at that point, I'm, I think to myself, what else is stopping you? Yeah. See, when you're laying down, you're like, oh my gosh, I'm so comfortable. Right. I don't feel like getting up. I got what I feel I need right in front of me. I got my phone. I got. You know, all my shows, I got YouTube, this and that, no. So, it's, okay, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but you no, mentioned the good. comfortable part. You think some people are too comfortable with just life in general, and they want to take, like, now I'm not saying the easy way, <clears> but, like, you know, maybe they're so com- comfortable and con- content, or not, I about to say content, content, content with where they're at right now, you think that's stopping them from taking the oh, yeah. next step? Yeah, of course. When people feel that they're in a position where they're good, and they feel like they don't have anything to worry about. They're gonna keep doing what they're doing, right. like, um, you know, just like, doing it to like skate by, like just doing it. Yeah, just they to they, make f- they feel like well, um, maybe not make it. Kind of like that. I would say people feel uh, when people are in this uh, phase of uh, comfortability, yeah. they don't, um, they don't. I wouldn't even say they think about trying new things until they're put to the test, and now. They're, they're, they freeze up, right. uh, like metaphorically. Yeah. Um, they're like, oh my gosh, I've never been in this position. Um, and then the thoughts keep coming in. Like this has happened to a lot of people. Right. Um, ev- everybody. It's happened to everybody. Um, and, and it varies from person to person, obviously, because of you know their background and how they grew up. <laughs> but um, when people are, I, th- I think people um, need to be put in positions like that every time. They need to allow themselves to be uncomfortable yep. um i talk about this with um some people at work as well you know shout out to the homies again <laughs> but um <laughs> shout out to the palace you know fucking holding it down but um you have to like so are you treat, saying like i keep interrupting but are you saying yeah, like rude fuck you dude are you saying like you have to be uncomfortable to be comfortable in a way? You have to be comfortable. To, or, you have to. You have, you to, have, to, you have, to, so, you have to. You have to think. You have to have the mindset of, um, okay, I'm, I'm going to allow myself to be comfortable with being uncomfortable. Okay. And by doing that, you will start to once again evolve. That's right. what I was talking so about. Growth as a person, like to be able to know, to be able to be in uncomfortable situations, but then go back to being uncomfortable, like kind of. You see what I'm saying? Nah, you ain't elaborate You're a on that. Fucking idiot. So, Just call me an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> fucking nah, fuck, okay. nah. You know no, what? No, listen. I'm saying like you have to. Your mind has to be able to say, okay, if I'm in an uncomfortable position, once I get out of that, then I need to go back to being like equal out, kind of. You see what I'm saying? Like have both of the mindsets. Like if I don't, maybe just you know, no, no, no. Yeah, you gotta talk. keep going. You're good. You're good. Uh, you gotta no, keep going. You gotta keep I'm going. I'm saying like if you're in, like you have to be. Your mind has to be able to adjust to an uncomfortable position. Your, your your mind has I, to yes. has need you, you, you have to be up, able to know how both works. You got to yes. be able or to face adversity, yes. face yeah. adversity. You got to sure. be able to, you know, face those those, those rocky roads. You got to be able to um, take you know, it down fa- the cliff. What? <laughs> <laughs> Not like that, bro. But like, you know, know what I mean? I, like, I know what you mean. Go down a rough cliff. It's just a weird like, like, like <laughs> it's just a weird metaphor. Fuck your metaphors. That was your metaphor. I know. Okay. So fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay. No, but like, like what I was saying, um, that that mindset of I'm going to allow myself to be uncomfortable in these situations. Once you allow yourself to do that, like I was about to say, uh, before you rudely interrupted, mm-hmm. no, I'm just kidding. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> um, like uh, when I was comparing it with the with the Call of Duty, yeah. um, 
these these uh these slow growths you know with everything that's you know already in front of you but you know exploring these different avenues that are not familiar with you at all um it's going to build you up and set you up for success in the future is going to set you up for you know maybe you know you know things that you want to do in life and you have the tools you know equipped to do that so if you ever get in a situation where you have an opportunity to pursue uh what you want to do then you can do it without um as much difficulty and you know stress and anxiety as you would without knowing anything so yeah once again i feel it's very important to do that and one thing about me is i've been in that stage of evolution where I'm finally jumping out of my comfort zone and I'm doing things that I'm not familiar with, like with, uh, let's bring up skateboarding. Mm. Um, yeah, and skateboarding. and, and it, this, this happens with everybody who's on the board. They're right. scared to fall. With me, I have the mindset, like, I want to fall. So you can I've, learn? So I can, um, so I can know what it feels like and know, like, hey, this really isn't bad. So just keep doing it. Right. Just keep going, keep going, keep pushing. You will fall, no matter how much you want to do it, or you know you don't want to do it. Right. Um, another thing, like I, we get tropical smoothie a lot. I don't know if um, it's in any of other states or anything like that, but we got that here in you know the big O H. The big O H Y O. Okay, but no, I'm serious. Now, like back to what you were saying, I did. I was on TikTok the other night, like I always do before I go to bed, and like this guy did a video, and I thought this was really cool. I forget his name, so shout out to whoever you were. But he did a video, and it was like, it was like day 45 of like how he knew, having how he, fuck having to deal with rejection. Like he would like he wanted to get told no, so he could understand and like not always being sit, told yes, and so he could get used to being told no. Like he could get being used to get rejected in, in certain situations. Oh, can you repeat that again? I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. God. You're you don't good. Listen You're to good. Me. This guy did a uh, yeah, TikTok. Yeah, I never listened to you. And he did. It was a video, and he did. It was like day 45. Like, he must have been doing it for a while. But he was like, how, fuck. To, how to get used to getting rejected or, like, people How to get used no. to getting rejected? Yeah, whatever the fuck I meant. But I thought that was really cool because, like, you can make your mind understand. Right. Yes and no situation. Because you're not always going to get told yes, like. Yeah, yeah. You're going to get told no. There's going to be times where you don't want to hear it, but you're going to have to hear it. Mm-hmm. And I thought that was really cool because, like, I think everybody needs to understand and learn that, like, you're, there's going to be times where you're going to get mm-hmm. told no. Like, you know, and building yourself up for yeah, that. That's what I'm saying. I thought that was cool. That's why I was, cool. that's why I was kind of like going back to what you were saying about falling on the skateboard. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, yeah, just, just to anyone out there, and, you know, if if you're doing that, cool, keep doing it. Oh, that's, that's, that's amazing. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, but to someone who's watching this who kind of struggles with um, wanting to, you know, succeed in life but don't have the tools equipped, just try new things. Like, that's one thing. Like, yeah. if, if there's something you're not sure Used about, to, yeah. then probably go for it, depending right. on what it is. Obviously, don't do anything, like, super dangerous, yeah, you no, know, that's going to cost you your life or anything like that. But, you know, if it's something that you know isn't going to – that, you, you know, you – or like ninety nine percent sure that isn't gonna harm you or anything like that. Definitely give it a shot. Um, try it out because Ooh. there will always be yes, there will always be a lesson learned. Like that's the tropical smoothie. Um, every time I go there, I get something new every single time because I'm like, you know what? I can't just keep getting what you know used to. blah 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 what I'm used to or what I what I what I feel like is my favorite because when you keep trying new things, your mind's gonna change and your mind's gonna become more open. It's gonna expand. That's what you've been trying to work on with me because I'm not going to yeah. lie. I'm used to a lot of things, yeah. and I don't try a lot of new stuff because I'm like, my mind is so focused. Like, if I go to a food place, I want that fucking food because right. that's what I'm craving. Like, I don't want to try it Because you're else. so comfortable you're right. with you're comfortable, what you got. But you got to be able to force yourself to be uncomfortable and try new yes. things. So that's kind of the whole point in that topic was make, like, let your mind and let yourself be, expand and mm-hmm. grow in certain situations. And I think that was a very good thing that we talked about definitely 100 percent. yeah um dude it's, it's it's been a weird journey yeah, as, as of recently it's, um, been, it's been crazy before one thing i do want to ask you so like i kind of like thought about this like we were recording this like what's one thing like i'm gonna do it too what's one thing you would like want to improve this week or like something you want to reach improve like this week just That's, this week like maybe that. That's super it. tiny goal 
I, I think it, that's I think that's good. That's a good question. Like, cause that's kind of like the whole point we were trying to get at is like trying new things. So like, what's one thing you want to work on this week? I want to build up to a a solid, consistent sleep schedule, because that alone will already set me up for a good day. For uh, not only a good day, yes, but even more because that's my mindset is going to change. I'm going to be right. more positive, and that. Uh, branches off into many different things. Right. I'm gonna want to do more. Oh yeah, definitely. I'm gonna have more energy to do more. Yeah. So I'm not gonna get you know tired out fast. I'm like you know I'm gonna sit down for a little bit and then I'm done. Right. Until I gotta go to work or until I'm going to sleep. Yeah. So I feel like building a solid sleep uh, sleep schedule um, this this week is gonna be something very good for me. Mm-hmm. So uh, I'm gonna ask you the same question. Uh, what's one thing this week. I was gonna, I'm not gonna some, lie. I was gonna some say funny the, guy. You was gonna say the same thing. Yeah, but well, no, I'm sorry, listen, guy. No, 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 listen, I'll change it. Yeah, one, pick something else, guy. one thing I want to work on this week is definitely playing basketball more because, like, I love playing basketball. Yeah. I, I've loved basketball since I was little. So probably getting outside more and definitely back to the eating better and try to cut out all fast definitely. food. Definitely. Like, since I mean, since we're in here, we know we got yeah, we got to yeah, keep I our know. minds open, 100%. open, open, open. That's that's very important for both of us because. When, when we do that, when we realize, when we realize we we want this and we really, really, really then want it's this, over. it's over, yeah. bro. It's for over for the, fa- yeah. fuck the fast food. Fuck it's fast over. Food. Sorry, McDonald's. You're yeah, fuck Wendy's too. Taking your ass home. <laughs> no, Go home. <laughs> Go home. But uh, Ric Flair. Ric Flair. Um, what's one thing? I mean, what's one thing you want to kind of transition to? Topic wise, is there something you wanted to talk about um, specifically? You I, ca- I kind of wanted to go uh, a little bit deeper into like the um, the the week accomplished thing. Okay. So go ahead. I do want to do the sleep schedule, but I want to do more. Like, and I know I can do more. Right. Um, I want to make music every single day, and I know I can. I have the time for it, and I have the tools that I need. I have everything I need, so I want to, you know, just keep making the music every single day. I want to. Learn something. To, I just want to learn something every single day as well. Just learning something completely different um, than what I'm used to, because by doing that, once again, the knowledge expands and the mind opens even more. Definitely. I think one thing I'm going to try to focus on this week is definitely not to. I overthink a lot. You know this. Definitely, I've been getting better at it. It's still a problem, but I'm definitely going to try to like let let things be and just let situations. I mean, if it happens, it happens. If things don't, you know, just let things be. And definitely put more time and energy towards myself this week. Try definitely. to focus on me and just get myself right, body wise, health wise, mental health. Definitely. Mental health definitely. That's a main that's, that's, focus. I feel that's what also sets up for everything else. I yeah. feel like the mental health you is got a good mentality. Almost right? like the base of it. It is, yeah. Um, you know, the, the spirit and the the mind. Um, yeah, I feel like you you set the mind up well. And then everything just kind of comes with it. Just comes with yeah. it almost. That's that's kind of how I see it. But um, I feel like one thing, uh, you and I should probably start doing, or something that we could do is, if we're at times where, you know, we feel, um, kind of like weird, like we, you know, we're, um, you know, our energy is not we're as high there, as it yeah. normally is. I feel like we should communicate that. I'm like, hey, like, I'm not feeling weird today, bro. And I, and I might hit up like you know like, like what's the issue right. and if you got something to say we'll, we'll talk about it and we'll find ways that we both could handle that situation because not only would that help you but that help. that would also help right. me yeah. as well because if I find myself in that situation boom I have the knowledge right. I have the tools equipped to be like hey alright it's not as bad as I think it is or um, this is bad but let me find a way I can calm myself down right. or if there's a situation where it's like I don't even know what's wrong with me I just feel bad I'm like okay so if there's not something that you're upset about and you just feel this way, then let's try to let, 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 let's try to stop that. Let's try to reduce the stress or anger or Definitely. anxiety we're feeling. So I feel like communication once again, like this Definitely. is something that we yeah. talked about last podcast. Big I feel like key. communication is very, very, very important. And I think a lot of people they just I, the problem with it is I think a lot of people just don't understand it. I don't know if it's like a oh yeah I, I agree I I've agree. seen a lot of people like. It, it just I just don't think like communication is so important regardless of what it is like because you, you just got to be able to express how you feel and some people just need that like you, hey I'm feeling this like can you work on this like then yeah. we you know you're both in the mix and you're good like you both know 
Mm-hmm. Error. It could be anything, but I just think communication is so important. Yeah, and this goes back to the self as well. You have to allow yourself to be able to communicate your feelings yeah, exactly. because you bottle them up. They're not. Yeah. yeah. Every everything comes back to the self. Open mindedness, trying new things. You know, the the, the passion, the desire to grow, the right. discipline, everything like that. Um. So yeah, dude. Like talk. Like once again, like the self. Yeah. Like that. that we we went on for this about oh, yeah. like you know right uh, a, a good amount of time. Yeah. Um, yeah, dude, the self. So, <laughs> the, the self. The self. The self. So, before I want to fucking punch you in the face, how do you Whoa. feel? Whoa. Oh, just kidding. Dude, are you serious? Dude, are you fucking lying to me? Why right do you right lie? Now? Why do you lie to me? <laughs> but how do you feel about, so, the other day we were at work. Listen to this shit. The other day we were at work. I don't know if I should say this. Oh, no, I know what you're talking about. Let's go. We Let's go. Work. What day was that? Saturday. So, it was a Saturday night. So, oh, we were, be- we were that night. busy. It was us. It was me and Amar and then two of our other homies. And Amari, shout out the homies. Facts. Amari was talking about well, the fights. Who? Okay. Who? So who all? So fought? we were talking about the. Oh crap! I, yeah, I didn't know you were talking about this. Well, we got something else to talk about too. What? Who would you think? So no, nah, it's, it's a good story. Okay. Anyway, so the fights. So this was um, the KSI fight. It was on the zone or whatever. Yeah. And what is that? Is it like a streaming? It's like a fighting streaming service. Um, I don't know too much about it, but I know um, it just holds fights, and I believe. Sp- Sports events in general, streaming. yeah. So, um, it was KSI. I'm sure a lot of people he know won, who he is. Right? He's, um, he won both of his fights. Okay. Yes, it was like him versus um, a rapper that he made music with, um, and then it was Salt Poppy. Is like a, a a very popular TikToker, something like that. And then obviously Daddy versus Fousey. Okay, Fousey got fucked up. And then Fousey got <laughs> Fousey. Well, his eye was fucked. And Fousey got something happened to his eye socket. Oh, was like, it? Like it, it got messed up. Um, Deji broke his cheekbone Damn. and his nose. Holy shit! I didn't know it was that bad. Yeah, he Deji they messed said, him up. Bad. I've been seeing a lot of videos. They said Deji had like a lot of not like a lot of beef with other people, but like he wanted to win because I guess he's had a lot of fights that he's lost before. Yeah, yeah. So he was he was zero and three. Deji was zero and three, and this is something. This is something that he had to win. He like he had to win this. There was no other right. choice. And I felt very confident because I saw Fusi's skills and Deji just had more experience. Yeah, Fusi definitely like shout out to him, bro. He like worked on his. He was in shape for yeah, the fight. Yeah, he was. Like, 100%, he was. Like, I, mean, I respect he was that. But, like, I think the problem of it was is like, from what I seen in the fight, maybe it was more of like he worked too much on like the upper part, like his leg. People were saying like the he announcers were saying his he was, legs he was were stiff like, as they Yeah, they. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sure, but. Um, yeah, I've seen, I, from what I've seen, Desi definitely, definitely had way yeah, more. That, I, I'm, I'm proud of that dude, too, because, like, one thing is, like, that he was one of the um, first handful, not, like, one of the very first, but, like, one of the first handful of YouTubers that were, like, in my top, right. like, 10 or whatever. And I watch, I, I'm pretty sure I started watching him more than KSI. And when I saw Deji fighting, like, he, bro was losing this shit. I was like, damn, bro, like, he has to win. Yeah. I was with him the whole time. I was like, bro, you got to win. I believe in this dude. Like, he just got, he just has to put the work in. But, and, and he won, bro. Yeah. Got to be proud of dude. You got to give him props. You got to respect Fousey as well, even though Facts. he fucking damn near lost his face. You know he had no surgery from his previous no, fight? I didn't know that. Because Slim, he was also on uh, one of the cards. He knocked out face temper. Jesus. Um, like he he laid him out. I didn't know the fucking phase dudes were boxing too. Yeah, that's that's fucking. It's crazy, crazy, I know. But um, Slim actually was the one that broke Fousey's nose. He was on the card, the same card. He broke his nose. He had surgery, and I believe Fousey's doctor said he was not like absolutely not like one crack in his nose was done. And that shit, I can't even imagine. Dude. Yeah, I know, bro. He had a big ass nose too, <laughs> bro. Fuck his nose, dude. <laughs> Yeah, fuck his nose. All right, he's done. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah he's done. Turn into right. never mind. All right, <laughs> but um, no, I'm just kidding. Whoa, well, dude. Whoa, well, guy. Shout out to the Caesar Palace again. Once again. We gotta keep we, we, stressing that. We got we gotta bring him on here. But that's um, <laughs> that's gonna be amazing. 100%. But uh, the story I wanted to talk about was this. Was, this was Saturday. Uh, we were closing. And oh the, the, God. the homies left. The homies oh, left. Geez. This is great. So there was this girl. There was like. I Keep in she, mind, she was like it was Saturday night. We it was closed Saturday at 10. night. It was we, like ten o five. We closed that. We closed at ten. This was about like ten o five, ten ten. Because yeah. the homies, the homies left a little after ten, 
and you know we let him go. And we were shutting down. Uh, bro I was, was like, you used, used to count the money of that, you know, the, the money that we were racking up. The money, up. the money, money. The money. And uh, this girl, this 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 lady, she was probably in her fifties, maybe late forties. She came up to the door. She knocked. She wanted in. Obviously, it was closed. I was like, I was like, we're closed. I did the signal. We're closed. And then she like started lifting up like her arms, like she was trying to take off her shirt. And I was like, what are you? I was like, what are you doing? And she was like giving the signal, like if I take if I take off my shirt and show you my tits, <laughs> if I show you my tits, can I come in? I said, get the. F-. I right. said, no, yeah, go away. Like, and I walked away. I was like, nah. And she, what did I say she did? She fucking. She she rubbed her ass on the door. <laughs> bro, fuck that door. I'm never touching that door again. I'm not touching that dude yet, bro. Nah, dude, fucking yeah, but, crazy, um, bro. Yeah, and I, honestly, I was talking to Zach as well. I thought this was gonna be fun. I was like, I was like, I was gonna let her show her tits, and, and then, then I'll tell her to fuck off. Because I was I mean, like, that, that, that's, that's that's a lesson learned. Right. Don't don't well, come it's up. Well, it's a lesson learned, and we really don't have to unlock the door. Like, we don't, like, and I wasn't we going don't. to. People do that all the time, bro. Like fast food, I've dealt with. Because I, I worked, I worked in fast food, and then I used to work in. I mean, it's retail, but I worked in auto parts too, car parts. And I was yeah. in, bro, and it was the same fucking way. You got people coming in 9 o'clock, 9.05, like, mm-hmm. dude, go away, bro. Go you don't, away, pal. Don't come, why would you come at 9 o'clock at night? Like, Seriously. Yeah, that's one of those things. Like, obviously. That's one of the big f- negatives in retail is it, people are so rude. And I've, People I, can be very yeah, rude. Very fucking you've, rude. You've dealt with them the oh, most. 100%. Because you've, you've ran cashier, yeah, like, the most. Yeah, both. I did it at AutoZone. I mean, you have to. It sucks, bro. It really does. Definitely. Like, they have, some people understand, I've had people are real cool, and some people just don't give a flying fuck about how you feel. Like, you can't, you don't even, it's not even your fault, and they still just take it out on you, they feel ass. Yeah, I feel like some people have that mindset, yo, I'm pissed. So I'm going to take I don't, it out on I don't, yeah, yeah, I'm just going to take it no, out. I have no have reason to, you know, if there's any slight complications, or if they mess up, yeah. you know, the food. Saying, saying something, if they slightly mess up the order, yeah. or, um... You know, let's say they're accidentally bumping the wrong thing when they're taking the order. Right. Then it's all they're, oh, boom. Yeah, I got a reason to get mad at this right. person because they messed up. I no, why you got to do that? I'm going to take it out on you now. Yeah, that's, 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 what it that's, is. that's not right. One thing, one thing I preach on and I practice on is killing people with kindness yep. and spreading said. positive energy even though they don't treat you right. Because I feel by doing that, now they kind of feel bad. And at right. the same time... Maybe if they, they maybe if they come in with the mindset I don't care if I you know if they do one little thing wrong I, right. I get on their nerves like maybe I can switch that up if I because one thing I, I always do is when the customer walks in I ask how they're doing yeah. that's one thing that's I always I that's one thing I always do I'm like how we doing boom and then how 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 can I help you how yeah. how may I take your order yep. you know things like that I feel like it's very important to straight up right off the bat kill Just, people with yeah. kindness because that's gonna throw them off yeah, I believe. Okay. And I, I've seen it. Definitely. It throws them off. Um, but yeah, dude. Um, work is the Caesar Palace, dude. That's crazy, just, bro. You never know what you're going to get. Yeah, you don't, bro. Let's, let's talk about, like, you know, relationships. Let's talk about it. What do you want to go ahead? Uh, you started yes. off and I'll. Okay, so add with, into with, it. with relationships, what's what's your mindset on that? How, how do you feel? Well, oh, it's hard. Like, what do you want to, like, what do you want to know how I feel? Like, um, so how important is in, in terms of like, like a, like a partner relationship, just like, like, what? like an intimate, like an intimate relationship. Uh, what's, how do you, um, well, I'm, I'm trying to word this correctly. Um, how important is it for you to have a female partner in your life? In my life? Yeah. Well, I have one right now. Um. I think if you have the right mindset, which, I mean, I, as of right now, I'm like, I have the right mindset, but sometimes, I don't know, but the like, if you have a good mindset, I think it's important to have a partner in your life, but you also have to understand the problem I have with understanding certain things is like, this is just what I've been thinking about a lot, like, regardless of what's going on, like, in relationships, you each have your own life, so like, you have to respect, you know, like, some days... You just, I mean, you just have to respect, like, they have their own things they might want to go do. Like, you might have things you want to go do. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And I think you would say the same thing. I mean, wouldn't you say? Yeah. I mean, people, you have people, to people you have to understand. Yeah, you have to understand, like, I've seen a lot of posts. Like, you guys have you guys have each other, but at the end of the day, you also, they, you know, like I keep saying, you have you guys have your own lives. You 
got to go do your own thing. You got to kind of like space out a little bit. I think that's big in a relationship is space. Like I get, I've always, I'm a clingy person. So I've always like wanted to hang out like every day and shit. But the more I've like seen and understood, like there has to be time for your guys' own, own things. Mm -hmm. That's big. And I definitely need to learn and adjust to. What about you? So for me, the mindset that I had before was, um, I was fresh into a relationship. Like I didn't know, um, what a real relationship felt like and i'm not gonna lie it was a good experience yeah. I, it didn't end well but it was a it was a good experience the, you know the, the partner that i had at the time she was she was she was she was great um so the mindset that i had was obviously it was new it was fresh this was like some puppy love stuff yeah so i didn't know you know what love was and i still am trying to figure that out Love is <clears throat> it's 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 a very complicated thing. Well, like that, you'll you'll never know until you feel it. You'll never know until you really feel it. That and love's a strong word. Like Lo- love is love a strong word. Love, love is a strong word. Strong it's, it's word very thrown around. And a strong emotion. Like and like the thing that is big to me, like I don't say it to a lot of people, like I'm not just gonna throw love around to so, like if I say I love you, especially with homies or like my girlfriend now, like family, like I mean it. Like I'm I deeply care and want the best for you no matter what mm-hmm. that's just how i that how i am yeah so that love is a big word like love love you is have to love is strong strong love is strong and that's that's something that i was playing with at the time and that once again that word is very strong i um i was i was also clingy yeah. as well it's a it's a it's thing i have to work je- on it's je- jealousy yeah jealousy definitely plays into that and um being selfish and I feel, and I, I you know, I kind of dove into a little bit more. And I don't feel like if I'm trying to hold on to this person and not allowing them to be themselves and take time for themselves, I don't feel like that's really love. Right. Because I, I do kind of believe that, you know, if you love someone, you'll let them go. You'll yeah. let them, you'll let them be. I feel like you got to dive more into that, though. Yeah. You got to let them be themselves. You got to let them grow. You got to let them succeed. You got to yeah. let them be who they want to be. Yeah. And you and gotta support I feel, it. Yeah, you, got, you, you, you have, have to, to support it. it. Yeah. You have to support it. If you don't support it, then you have an issue that right. you need to figure out, and you don't need to be in that. Yeah. But um, my mindset is changing now, I believe. So I feel like you know the next partner that you know comes into my life, um, there's going to be a lot of a lot, a lot more maturity. There's going to be a lot more of respecting boundaries, respecting space, yeah. um, respecting lives, mm-hmm. you know, respecting backgrounds. You know, we didn't come from the same thing, right. so you know, Some we we have right. to we have to do understand. we have to understand, and we have and if we don't, we have to try to, yeah. and we have to allow ourselves to be more open. We have to, because uh, one thing that um, I believe is important in a relationship is uh, the two challenging each other, and you know, trying to become better people. Because I I, I believe um, one of the main purposes of the relationship is to uh, find a very um, special person that you are um, tr- c- that you are uh, able to connect to well. Um, you you guys can grow yeah. together. You guys can um, build you know unimaginable things. Something something very special. I feel like that's extremely important. Yeah. And I don't you know some people a lot of people. Uh, uh, take part in relationships or however you want to word it for like fulfillment they want to feel they want to fill that void they want to um I, I, have a, I have a question for you do you feel like you're in a relationship for that reason like do you feel like you have some emptiness that you want to feel do you feel like you know if you're with this person you'll feel complete no it's so how, how, how do you see it as like i genuinely genuinely how do I say it? What is it? Gen- gen- I can't say it. Right. <laughs> Genuinely. Genuinely feel that the girl that I'm with right now, no matter what we go through or what happens, like I just feel like it's out of pure love. Like I, I love her. Like and you know, there's gonna be tough challenges in the relationship, and you just gotta get through them. I mean, I can't guarantee anything. I can't. I'm not God, so I can't guarantee what the future holds. But as of right now, I mean, I'm just gonna keep going with the flow. You know. Mm-hmm. Definitely. So, do you see it as like, um, you know, you're just a do you just, you just kind of go with the flow yeah. almost? Like, yeah. so if you're attracted to a person, you'll just kind of build that relationship yeah. with them. Okay, I see that. 
Um, yeah, dude. So, <clears throat> I don't know. Where Where do you see yourself in a couple of years, dude? Like, relationship wise. I, I don't know, man. I mean, like I I do love my girlfriend, and I pray every day that I I, I pray a lot. I you know you meditate and I pray. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know how similar and different those two things are, but um, I mean I yeah. think in a way kind of them a little bit, but like I pray on a lot of things, and I pray that you know healthy my relationship stays healthy and that that's what the future holds but i mean I, like i said before i'm not god you're I just kind of like in the moment yeah you're trying, to, you're trying the, to be in the moment with right things. i just can't okay. con- i can't control what happens so let's yeah. go with it right, right right yeah i'm not necessarily in that mindset right now of wanting to be in a relationship because i'm starting to see a little bit more i'm starting to once again uh opening up my mind and i feel like a relationship right now is not good for going you. to yeah it's not going to be good for me like i feel like one one thing I do tell myself is if something happens, maybe allow yourself to let it happen. Because right. once again, you have to go through life knowing these things. You know your relationships with people, and you know, uh, like girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever you you know everyone prefers. You know I I like girls, whatever. Now you do. Um, <laughs> <laughs> welcome to the club. Welcome to the guy club. Welcome to the guys. <laughs> the guys, the boys. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just feel like that'll interrupt. You know my thing, but once again, um, if 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 it happens, I feel like I should just let it happen. I feel like yeah. I should learn these lessons, and you know, without trying it, I'll never know. All right. Yeah, so 100%. you know, um, <laughs> off topic. I'm cool with that. Um, yeah. what's your favorite favorite snack of the week, dude? <laughs> Last question. Favorite snack of the week. I picked this question. Um, I don't know, cause you know, back to our like whole thing. Like I'm used to like same shit but like salty was, foods no what was that day what, what it was like the other was it last week well we go to the gas station but last week i got what are they called those airheads but they're like all know. the airhead extremes dude oh gosh dude bro. those are ooh. that's the only candy i'll fucking eat and m&ms and starburst Can't uh, really, starburst yeah, yeah, you were snacking kinda, on you were snacking on starburst starburst are like if i'm hungry though i kind of like gotta eat them you don't gotta eat them what are you talking about i mean i do though well, yeah, I know you do. <laughs> what are you talking about? You got to eat. All right, all right. Bro. What's yours, puss? Um, all right, hey. Yeah. Guy, come on. A lot of hostility, huh? Dude, why you got to be so hostile? Why you got to be so hostile in my crib, man? Why do you lie? Why do you lie? <laughs> okay, what, what's your favorite? <laughs> Snack-wise? Me. So. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Hold on, can you repeat that again? No, nah, I'm good. <laughs> all right, dude. All right, dude. Um, well, it's not you. Okay. I mean, yeah, I know you're salty. I know. <laughs> All right, well, <laughs> but um, snack wise, um, once again, like I stepped away from like the the kind of like the, sh- the candy. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm I'm not really a fan of it anymore, just in general. Um, I don't know, dude. Yeah, I've once again I've been trying new things, so right. it's kind of hard to pick one. I like just pick one. Oh uh, no, one. I meant like you can just pick one. <laughs> Want me to pick one, Zach? Sure. <laughs> Um, I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say this is it, but the, I will say, bro, Takis, they're not bad, bro, but they're weird, dude. Because I haven't had them in a while, and I had them uh, that night that the girl showed her, tried to show her tits. No, yeah, that was just weird night. That was fantastic. Yeah, Saturday night. But um, they they were like they were hot, but they also had like some some sweet like mm-hmm. tanginess into from yeah, the lime, I'm not good, and it was also sour. Nah, I'm they good. were sour. I don't know, but um. The snacks, man, I don't know. I didn't really give snacks. I just said candy. So, I mean, if you just what you want, we're good. Snack candy. I mean, candy. Okay, so you want me to, like, say, like, an old favorite candy I had? If you want, yeah. Um, It's going to have to be the Airhead Extremes. I told you, though, though, that was That's the stuff that I used to Tell be on me, all the time. Um, cause Jeez, I'm just, yeah, good bro. Good God, those things are fucking. Good God, yeah. Just candy is just not special yeah, anymore. it's not. It's just a, it's just another little thing in life. Yeah, just another little thing. <laughs> another little thing on you. Why well, you gotta lie? Why well, you gotta lie to me, Tony? <laughs> All right, Tony, um, Mike, and LeBron. Is there anything you want to add to the wrap up? Um, t- I'm just I'm I'm excited for the next podcast because I yeah, know like, we're gonna have oh, some crazy. Yeah, well, this shit one is to really good. About. We're this. improving every week. Like I hope yeah. you guys understand. We're coming. Just bear with us. We're we're learning how to you know have proper conversations yeah. and just talk about life. I think and, this. I'm not gonna yeah. lie, this one was good. I, I I was definitely feeling this one a little bit more. We were definitely we took, having a conversation. Hundred percent. Right, um, but yeah, I'm just excited for next podcast. Closing definitely. thoughts. Um, I just want to say I hope everybody out there is doing well. Yeah. Um, definitely. I feel like 
um, if you hear this message, regardless of how well you're doing, you know how poorly you're doing, um, make sure you're taking time for yourself yeah, and you're really pushing. you're really trying to yeah. dive into, you know, the mind and connect with the spirit yeah. because that's that that's, that that stuff is real. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't care what anybody says. I get people have their beliefs and everything, but it's real because I am experiencing it and other people do. Yeah. So dive into the mind and connect with the spirit. You know, allow yourself to. Um, think positively, you know, and you know things will come. You know, the law of attraction, good karma, yeah. things will come in due time. It's I something w- that my dad talks about. It's very important. I always go off of. I seen this one. I was on Cobra Kai, but I always, I've seen some. I've seen some right Cobra Kai. Too. Cobra Kai, September 9th. Oh my but God. put good in the world, and good will always come back to you. That's one thing. Yes. I always karma, karma, karma. Yep, karma. But I'm with you 100. percent I, you know, just take time for yourself. Big thing. That's what I'm going to work on this week. Um. One more thing, if you guys got any recommendations or, like, you know, if you guys want to leave some questions, like, I've been stressing out if you guys want to talk, like, or need somebody to talk to, we're both here, so just hit yeah, us up. Yeah, 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 we, yeah, we got our DMs open, too. Yeah, 100%. So if you got questions, comments, just you know, hit us up, bro. Like, yeah. we're open for anything. It's, and honestly, it's like a yeah, yeah. Podcast, big podcast. And, you know, one thing I feel like you need to work on, Larry, is uh, being more truthful because you've been lying to me a lot. But what? Just the, you've, been, you've just been lying. I've been lying to your face. <laughs> the way you look at me. <laughs> Bro, you better stop. All right, all right. So this was Weekly Talks, episode three. Episode three, dude. This was fire, bro. Um, coming back again. Coming next back week. next week to fuck you. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm I didn't say that, dude. Uh, I'm already said oh, that, God. not me. But uh, like, comment, subscribe. I hope you guys like yeah. the new, you know, the I'm audio. Saying, We're going to try yep. this. We're going to open up the polls more. We're going to be yeah, way yeah, more active. Way more active. Way more active. We're not going to lie anymore. We're not going to lie to the face. <laughs> but yeah. uh, definitely appreciate you guys' support. Stay tuned for next episode. Peace. Peace, guy. <laughs>